All right, what's up, guys? It is Kate Central here, and whew, that was uh, what's I, it's it's still kind of hard for me to wrap my mind around what the fuck just happened. Um, I mean, it is a couple hours later, and I have kind of calmed down from the whole thing, but still, what the fuck just happened? Um, so. As you probably all know by now, because I think a lot of YouTubers are kind of making videos on it now. Not many, but some. But here's pretty much the lowdown of what happened. I'll tell my little story of how I found this out first, before I go into everything else. So, I went to bed at about like 1 o'clock last night, because I am not the best sleeper in the world. I have a so hard time sleeping. So, I usually go to bed around like 1 o'clock or something like that. So, go to bed thinking you know everything's fine finally got to sleep and then I wake up at around like 4 30 in the morning because I had some trouble sleeping and I was like okay let me check my phone it's probably not gonna help me get back to sleep but hey it's you know it's something um so I go check my phone and I go check my statistics and stuff see if everything's going right you know make sure I don't get hacked or anything like that so I just check all that stuff everything seems good until I check my subscriber count and then I see that I had lost over 67 subscribers overnight. And I'm just sitting there like, what? I'm like dumbfounded at this point because I, this is the first time I've ever seen anything like this. So I'm scrambling, trying to figure out what the heck's going on. All these thoughts go into my mind because I have anxiety. So I start thinking all the worst possible scenarios like, oh, someone said something about me and start spreading lies or something. Someone hacked my account. Something of that nature. All right. So I just start scrambling and my internet was out at my house at the time. So I couldn't get on my computer. So I had to look all this stuff up on my phone, which was 10 times more awful to do. So I just start scrambling, trying to figure out what's going on. And then I start looking up other YouTubers, like other Kingdom Hearts YouTubers, like Skyward Wing, HMK, all that stuff. And then I realize, oh, this, this happened to everyone. It's another subscriber perch. And what is a subscriber perch necessarily? So here's what it is. YouTube or YouTube's automated system, automated algorithm, I don't know which one does it, um, occasionally goes around to all these inactive accounts on YouTube that have done nothing on um, YouTube for a while or haven't watched any of some people's videos in a while. So it goes around, sees that they haven't done that in a while. And in the case of the completely inactive accounts, from what I've seen, they just delete them outright. They just delete them saying these things aren't doing anything anymore. It's worthless to keep them on here. Let's just delete them. So that's what they do. And for the people who are inactive on certain channels, they just unsub them because it's clear that they don't want to want to watch those YouTubers anymore. So that's what basically a subscriber purge is. But they weren't as huge as the one that just happened a couple hours ago. This one is like monumental because everyone is losing subscribers like fucking crazy. Um, PewDiePie lost over 600,000 subscribers today. Skyward Wing lost 3,000 subscribers today. Dave Gamers Join, I think he lost about 4,000. Uh, HMK, he lost about 2,000. Sora Alamon, I can't remember, but I think it's around 2,000. Um, and my friend Eliasan, who is a little bit smaller than me, he does have a sizable amount of subscribers, but he lost over 600 subscribers today. Holy shit! And everyone else on YouTube is just losing all these subscribers. It depends on how bad it is for certain people. I don't know how bad it is for certain people, but everyone just got hit with it. So yeah, that, that was a great thing to wake up to this morning. Yeah, man, I haven't really gone to sleep since. Um, but I, I can see the sunny side in this situation. So at least we now know what the full accurate sub counts we actually have are now because all these dead inactive accounts just were there and they were really not helping your sub count show how many people are actually watching you. So I guess this is a good thing because now it accu accurately represents, sorry, how many people are actually watching your content now. And maybe not even then because there still may be some inactive people out there. I don't know. But still, I think it's kind of 
showing how many people actually watch your content now. And I think that may be a good thing in the end. But it's just the size and scale and the suddenness of the whole thing is what's making everyone on YouTube lose their fucking minds because we got no warning about this. We thought it was just tomorrow's gonna be a normal day gaining normal subscribers, you know? But no, everyone just got booted a bunch of subscribers out of the blue and no one knew what the heck was going on for a while. And I still think it's a bad thing for YouTube the way they communicated all this stuff because just several hours later, the YouTube team mentioned it, and they kept on tweeting like nothing happened for a while, and everyone was tweeting them like, yo, what the heck's going on with my fucking channel, you know? So, everyone was just confused, and YouTube didn't say anything. Thankfully, eventually they did, but still, why'd you wait that long? And it's even worse that they know what they're doing. Oh, they sure as hell know what they're doing. In the tweet, they says, we've noticed that some creators have lost a ton of subscribers. We're doing a our best to figure out what's going on. No, you know what the fuck's going on. You're subscriber purging everyone. You know exactly what you're doing. You can't fix this because you've already probably deleted the accounts from what I've heard. Um, and maybe you could recover some that were automatically unsubscribed because YouTube's algorithm would then get the difference. But still, you can't get a lot of the subscribers back because they're gone, they're dead. But just the size and scale of it all and the poor communication on YouTube's part to all their creators is the reason why this thing is bigger than it should be. Um, so, thankfully, I didn't get hit that hard. I only lost about 60 subscribers, which, trust me, for some people in my subscriber range, like 2,000 subscribers, they were much worse. Um, so, thankfully, I did get hit that hard, and my other channel, Pancake Gaming, actually gained subscribers, so I did not get affected as much as I thought I would by this, so thank goodness for that for me. But for everyone else, it's just awful, and I feel bad for everyone who got hit really hard. Like, my friend Elias son who lost 600 subscribers, and he only had, like, uh, 1,700, and now he's back to 1,200. All that progress he gained over E3 is gone, and now he's back to, like, square one again. So, I feel bad for that guy. Hopefully, he can get it back within a sizable amount of time. So, it's just a bad situation overall, and I hope this gets it through YouTube's mind that... You need to communicate this better because I do think these are kind of necessary to get rid of these dead channels to show an accurate sub count. But the way you need to communicate it is 10 times better because they let no one know what was happening initially. So please let your creators know what the heck's going on before you start just deleting everyone's subscribers. You know, that's just my personal problem with this. So for anyone watching this video and you have about like a sizable amount of subscribers I guess and you lost a lot of subs in this, I hope you get your subs back sooner or later from what I've seen from certain channels sub averages, they'll probably get it back within like a couple days or like a week. So this will probably fix itself within a couple days and hopefully the bigger channels out there on YouTube will probably get those back as well. So yeah, I do think it's kind of necessary to do it, but I just think they should have communicated it 10 times better than they did. So that's all I want to talk about with you guys today. Make sure right down in the comments below your opinion on this, because I know a lot of you guys who have a sizable amount of subscribers like me will probably have something to say about this. Um, again, make sure right down in the comments below your opinion. What do you think about the subscriber purge? Do you think it's necessary? Do you not like it? Do you like it? Do you think that they should have communicated this better? Make sure right down in the comments below your opinion. Also, make sure to subscribe and like this video, because that'd be really awesome if you did to get me back to that to the point of subscribers that I had before, like 2,791, I think that's what it was. So make sure to help me get back to that. And this has been K Central, and I will see you guys later. Bye!